Welcome back to News 5 at 6 o'clock. This August marks a decade since Hurricane Katrina turned the Gulf Coast upside down. Today, an Air Force reservist is looking for a little girl he rescued from the floodwaters. He's using social media to find her, but the search hasn't been easy. As News 5's Avery Cotton reports, all he has is one photo and a hug he can still feel 10 years later. When Hurricane Katrina hit the Gulf Coast nearly 10 years ago, scenes like this showed the world how truly devastating the storm was, particularly to the city of New Orleans. Many were stranded inside their homes. Others had to climb onto their roof to escape the raging floodwaters. They plucked people to safety one by one with a helicopter-borne basket. One of those rescuers... New Orleans was destroyed. Master Sergeant Mike Baroni. It's six days into Katrina. And uh, I'm having a pretty bad day. Picked up a guy who was having a heart attack. And then we picked up two little old ladies. And one of them had been comatose. Then came a break in the clouds. And we find this family in the middle of the street. And they're waving us down. Perhaps the only sunshine he'd see. You know, they're like, we've been here for, you know, six days. We have no water, no food. In the form of a smiling little girl. So as we're going up, she's looking. And she's like, there's my house. <laughs> you know? And she's that smile. Was, was on her face. As Sergeant Maroney hoisted the rest of her family into the helicopter, he says he couldn't help but smile to himself at the child's joyful spirit and resiliency in such a tragic time. And when they landed safely... She wraps me up in that hug, and all the pain, all the trouble, all the, the entire world just disappeared, and for a moment, uh, I was... I was in heaven. It's that embrace from a child that has made a lasting memory with Maroney. And now, 10 years later, he wants to find her. The one picture he has of her can be seen throughout social media, along with the hashtag FindKatrinaGirl, in hopes that he can have that special reunion and to tell her thank you. Because that, that hug is one of the top five hugs of my entire life. So far, Maroney, who is stationed in San Antonio, says he hasn't had much luck finding the little girl, but he's not giving up. He recently found a lot of pictures from his time in New Orleans during the storm. He says he's going to try and use Google Maps to find the exact location where he rescued the child and her family. In the studio, Avery Cotton, News 5. Now.